In the era of semiconductors, all the different electrovacuum and gas field devices are losing their positions day after day, but some of them still remain indispensable. One of the examples is a device called Crichton. Crichton is a cold cathode gas field tube intended for use as a very high speed switch. Unlike most other gas switch tubes, the Crichton uses are discharged to handle very high voltages and currents. Several, several kilovolts and several amperes peak, rather than the usual low current glow discharge. The Crytron is a development of the triggered spark gaps and thyretrons, originally developed for radio transmitters during World War II. There are four electrodes in Crytron an anode, cathode, grid, and a keeper lab electrode. The keeper lab electrode is arranged to be close to the cathode. It has a low positive voltage applied, which causes a small area of gas to ionize near the cathode. High voltage is applied to the anode, but primary conduction does not occur until a positive pulse is applied to the grid. Once started, our conductor can carries a considerable current in place of or in addition to the keeper lab electrode, some crytrons may contain a very tiny amount of uh, beta plus radioactive material, usually it's nickel 63. The amount of radiation in a crytron is very small and not harmful. The crytron, dating back from the late 1940s, is still capable of pulse power performance, which even the most advanced semiconductors cannot match easily. A vacuum type crytron. Spritron operates even under the high radiation level when the gas field crytron would most likely voluntarily turn on, whereas the semiconductors would work incorrectly in general. Crytrons and their variations are still manufactured by Birkin Elmer components and are used in a variety of industrial military devices. They are best known for their use in igniting the slapper detonators in nuclear weapons, their original application either directly or by triggering the higher power spark gap switches. They also used it to trigger thritrons and flash lamps in photocopiers, lasers and scientific for firing igniters for industrial explosives.